this is Glowing, and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3 in Kappa Mode. And today, I am hoping to get through as much of these as I can. I'm not sure I'll get up to the Gaia, or these runes and stuff, but I'm hoping to get through the basic stuff, and perhaps get a piece of Terra Steel or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, something that I was looking at, Pure Crystal, um, that is what unlocks Astral Sorcery, and Blood Magic is unlocked with the Searing Crystal, which is this one here. So, pretty much both of those I can, I'm able to unlock, so, next few episodes I'll probably be doing a bunch of these Magic Mod stuff, because that is sort of like a big lockout for most of the other stuff. And also the other thing I'm hoping to get is flight. So 720 you can see. And if I come over here, all I need is 768. So that is 48 RAK away. 48 is 10 quests. And if I look over here, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all that. If I complete a bunch of these today, I will f be able to fly by the end of the episode. But anyway, first thing I need to do, I do actually still need those shares. I need to get these flowers. Um, these flowers, uh, do I need to turn those into petals? I'll turn each into one single petal, or just one crafting recipe for the petals. So let me go through and do that. Okay, so now that I have all the petals, I can actually just do stuff with the petals that I want to. So, uh, first thing I do want to do is get a whole bunch of white petals because I want to make a few more of these pure daisies. So I just plant down the petals like this. I grow them like that, and then I use shares. It is important you use shares, otherwise you will not get the tall flowers back. So yeah, that's 24 of these. I'm just going to do that one more time with about 10 of them. Okay, there we go. I have just under a stack now. So that means that if I get a bucket of water, I'm actually going to see if... Where, where's the other bucket gone? There. I'm going to see if this bucket works. I also want to get some seeds. Because seeds are pretty important in Britannia. Yes, that one works. So, one, two, three, four. And seed. I can do water bucket, empty hand, seed. Water bucket, empty hand, seed. Okay, so if I put that one there. Wait. I'm actually just going to put this one here, this one here. And then there and there. Okay. Now, what I need is I've got some wood. If I just place wood around the outside of these... Get out of the way, sheep. I don't have... Uh, I don't have anything. Okay. Get out of the way. Thank you. So that goes there, and then... Put some in the middle like this. Okay. That's going to turn all of them into living wood in a second. I can also get some stone and do the exact same thing with living stone. Okay, there we go. It's converting. So, uh, hu hurry up. W why are you taking so long? Oh yeah, because I killed the sheep in that time. Yep. S so it takes 30 seconds, I think, between each one. And there we go. So, vein mine all this. And then, same thing with this stone here. And vein mine. There we go. Okay, perfect. So that is these two done. So I can get that one, and I can get that one. So next steps are the mana spreader. There's also a mana spreader turntable. Okay. Um, not that button, wrong button. Okay, uh, then a mana pool and a runic altar. Okay. So I guess the first step would actually be getting this endo flame. So that's two brown, a light gray, and a red. And I had all those in here. So brown, light gray, red. Let me go ahead and 
do the growy thing with these ones. Two brown, a light grey, and a red. Helps if I actually put the water bucket in first. Let's try that again. So there, there, and seed. Yep. And then it's a water bucket, hand, seed, water bucket, hand, seed, water bucket, hand, seed. And okay, that's four of them. Now, I need a gold ingot. Okay, so now I can make a mana pool. Can I make a mana pool? Okay, apparently the recipe has changed. A mana pool requires this, which is complex crystal, complex crystal, two simple crystals. Tier two light. Okay, well, guess that I need to do some more Lordcraft stuff. Let me remember that. Uh, Mana Spreader was the other thing, which is a Verdant Crystal. Yeah, okay, I don't I don't actually need one of those, but I can get the, ma the uh, what's it called, the Mana Spreader. So there, there, and just a random petal. There we go, Mana Spreader. I have been looking at this, and I have absolutely no idea what the Tier 2 light is. Is it one of these? So pretty much all that I can think of is it's this one here. I, I, I have no idea. It doesn't actually say anything about it, but I don't know. I, I may also just see if I can get this one, see if that does anything. I'll try that one first, because I think that's probably more likely, because the other one isn't tier 2. That might unlock something else. Okay, so I've unlocked it, and I'm pretty sure that that was from this one here. That one may also work. I just looked at this in glowstone. Maybe that works, but yes, it did. So now I need my simple crystals. Uh, simple. I have a block of simple crystals. Where did I actually put them? Okay, I just went to the twilight and I got some more crystals. So I can put those in there. I also need to get some of the water crystals so that I can actually craft up things. I've got the complex crystals. That means I can make these luminous crystals. That's four of those. And with that, I finally have everything I need to make a, uh, what's it called? A mana, mana pool, yes. Cauldron. Ah. Oh. Of course, it isn't just a regular cauldron. It's, um, this, which, oh my goodness. I think I have all of these, but t just getting them, that's gonna be a pain. So I need a molten core. Molten core can be gotten from loot bags. Uh, let's see, do I have one here? I don't know, but I need these. I also need these. Um, and slime pearls, I think, is the other thing that I'm looking for. Uh, yes, yeah, so molten core, I need two. How many do I need? I need one. Let's get one of those. Uh, slime pearls, I need two. I actually need three molten cores. Um, is, is there one more? Yes, there's one more. I need three of the nebulous hearts. Um, two ribs, two pearls, two leather. Um, I've got the pearls, the ribs I think I have at the front, but I can get them there. And is that it? I think that is everything. I need one more of those. And, um, leather. And one more rib. Okay. I think that means I can make two of these. Uh, can I get the right recipe? Thank you. There, yes. And cauldron. Finally, get one of these and I can make a mana pool. Yay. Okay. That took way too much effort. Anyway. 
now that I've got that, and one of these, I can put that there. I can put four pure daisy. No, not pure daisies. Four of these. I think they all link up. Something that would be useful to get, though, would be a wand of the forest. So get one of these and get some random petals. There we go. And... So these, yes, they're connected, and this is connected to that now. And all I need to do is get some coal, throw that down there, and each of those will pick it up. And that's filling this up with mana. I'll see how many of these I can make. So I've got this one. Uh, this requires one of those. Okay. Two grey, two red, two green, two yellow. So that's grey, okay, two red, green, and yellow. I need to, I need to get more of those. Uh, do I have, yes, I have my shares here. Let me get these quickly. So there we go. I've got the or, orchid, or, or, I, I, I don't know how to say that. Um, orchid, I think. Uh, but that generates, oh, what's it called? It generates ores. I think it turns all stone into ores. The next step is to get a diamond, turn that into that, an emerald, and an iron ingot. And I apparently have mana steel already, okay. Yes, of course I do, because I've used it before. But now with the mana pearl, and two more crystals, I can get the runic altar. And I also want to get another mana spreader. So that's one of those, I think. Yes, it is. And if I put this next to the mana pool, put the runic altar there, that should be shooting at there. And then I have a runic altar, which I am now able to craft some other things. So there's that, there's that, and okay, what do I, what one do I need for this? So I've got that. For this one I need the Rune of Spring, and for this one I need the Rune of Mana. Where are those ones in here? So Spring is there, which requires fire and water as well. It also requires a blank slate. Okay, well, maybe not then. <laughs> uh, can I get these ones? They require crystal rune of water. Uh, that requires... Ah, that's a runestone crafter. That's what those are for. Okay. Makes more sense now, and it still requires a blank slate. And I can't even get to terra steel, because that requires all this. Um... I can get the living. I can get the lapis. That's fine. Uh, so it looks as though things are locked out until I get into blood magic. Which means, let's get into some blood magic. I need three more and I can fly. <laughs> so blood magic requires searing crystals. Searing crystals are made by... Um, I need fire research and it's four and a lava. So let me get my book and thingies back out. So that and that. And let's do a bit of research with fire. So... There we go. Research done. Now I should be able to get this and I'll get two buckets of lava. And something that I should mention is this is completely full. I have a full iron drum of lava. Okay, so there. And there, that's some of those. Searing crystals done. Claim that. And before I get into blood magic, let me go over here. Grab out every single one of these. I will need to put some stuff away because my inventory is full. And 
that is that is a lot of RAK. But if I come to rewards, flight totem, detect submit, ability totem, claim, put it on, and look at that. I can fly. Yes, I'm flying. Yay. Okay, that's going to make things so much easier now. That I can just fly around, getting away from everything. Just come over here. Boom. Over here. Done. Simple. Okay, anyway. Blood magic. First thing I need is to get this, which is four searing crystals. Coagulated, co coagulated blood, which is blood on a drying rack. Um... Place those down there, they will take quite a while actually. So, I also need a book and quill, so that's black dye, so ink, a feather, and a book. And these are now done, so grab those, yep, got them. And just this, this, and done. So the next step is this demonic will, so I need to get the demonic will. So I did actually get these from that quest. So what I can do is, I'm just going to come into the um, hunting dimension here and if I well as soon as I get in there I can just fly away yep that's good uh, where are my carrots here are my carrots so I can eat them and I can see stuff there we go that looks that looks fine now um, but I do have arrows and stuff so I can shoot monsters and all I need to do is find a mob. Um, I don't know if baby skeletons will work. Can I find an actual mob? So I need to throw them until I see those white particles. And then I just kill it. And I get a demonic will. So that is all I want for now. Let me go back through. And something that I probably should do, because this can be sort of dangerous... I'm going to get some cobblestone walls, just in case a mob does come back through. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a wall pretty much just around there, in front of those. And I want to block off the back of it as well, so I'll just do that and put some either side. So that means the only way I can get in is up, over, and then in, and I can just get out by jumping over that. And let's see, torch. Do I need a torch anywhere? It looks like I don't. So now that I've got this, the next thing is a Hellfire Forge, which I need eight of these. Okay, there we go, one of those. And what was the other things? I need four stone. So, four stone. I need some iron with one block of it. So,. There we go, one block, and there we go. Okay, and with this, I can get these four things here, put a demonic wheel in, and that will charge up and use one wheel and give me this. This is a Petty Tartaric Gem. So from here, I can level it up over this way, getting more and more each tier. I can also get this sword, so that's what I'm going to get. I need a sword and a gem with... I'm not sure how much I need, I hope... Yeah, that's, that should be fine, I just need an iron sword. So I need a stick. And craft an iron sword. There we go. Put that in there with that. That in there though and then use this to do that. So that gives me one of those. And then if I come back over here and get another piece of lapis, another piece of gold, and then I need uh, another piece of redstone. Do I have more redstone though? Yes, I do, there. And a piece of glass. I can put those four in, and this will give me one more of those gems. And then back in the mining dimension, 
If I switch my bow to my offhand, I can hold this sword, shoot this guy, and then this charges up with the will. That's a fully charged gem. Then what I can do with that, I can level it up, keep it and stuff. I can also get this sentient armor. I'm not going to get that right now. Um, the one other thing I want to do is just get this blood altar, which requires a demonic will. A gold furnace, four steel, and this, oh. 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 Okay, maybe not then. Um, that requires the Erebus. And, uh, how do I get there? I need this, which is Naga scale. I should have that. Um, Vines, I think they can be, yes, they can be any vines, block of dense crystals, thorium block. How do I get thorium? I think that is a deep dark thing. So that requires a deep dark, which is not going to happen right now because I need to get a whole bunch of stuff like this ender crystal, which is a vibrant crystal, which is a whole bunch of crafting over in the alloy smelter, some of these empowered crystals, all that, an empowerer, which I haven't actually got yet. I need to get that, which I think that's pretty simple. Some thorn vines, which is from the nether, all that, beryllium stuff. Okay, Th that's a whole rabbit hole in itself, but that will be next time. Next time, I'm hoping to get to the Erebus, or at least like work my way up to get there. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.